Hi, I'm Martin. I want to show you how easy it is to set up, set up a simple racing game using Brain Builder in Unity 3D. So what I have here is an example scene consisting of a car and some cubes. And the car has four wheels and four wheel colliders. And what I'll do is import a car controller brain that you can download from our web page. So I'll go to assets, import custom package. And I have it in my downloads folder. Double click and click import. And here you see the new car controller brain. And to make this, to use this, I'll also need to actually add a brain to the car. So I'll go to components, brain builder, brain. And I'll dock the window over here. So now you can see the car controller uh, has been installed in this uh, folder structure with all the building blocks. And if I open it, I see all the blocks I can use. So I want to drive the car. And here we get this warning that a lot of slots unbound and you bind slots in the inspector window. So here we see a list of slots that need values. So I'll just drag, drag and drop to set the slots. Like that. And we also need to provide a speed value how fast we want to go. So I'll type 50 and press play. <laughs> and the car does a wheelie. Okay, so I, I only want to drive when I press the up arrow key. So in the input folder we have key is down. So I'll snap that onto this block. And I need to provide to tell it which key I want to use. So up arrow, then drive. And I'll control copy these, hold down control while dragging them. And drop down arrow to drive backwards. Try that. And also I want to stop the car when none of them, when neither up arrow or down arrow is pressed. So in conditions, we have this not block and I'll copy this. So when neither of them are pressed, I'll set speed to zero. That's better. All right, let's turn. So there's this turn. And it also needs some slots, the wheels, so it can actually turn them. Front left, front right. And snap on this. left arrow key and I need to provide the angle I want to turn with minus 25 for left I'll control copy those and turn 25 for right and again if neither is pressed oops Neither left arrow or right arrow is pressed. I want to reset the steering. Like that. Uh, 
And there's also, also this update suspension block available in the car controller. What, does that, what that does is calculate how much the wheels should uh, move up and down depending on the springs so we get some suspension in the car. And that needs access to the final two uh, tires. So I'll set those slots in the inspector window again. Like that. And try that. So now you see the car bounces up and down a bit due to the suspension. And finally, as you see, it's really easy to tip the car over. And a simple trick to work around that is to artificially lower its, its center of gravity. And that's quite easy to do. I'll search for center of, center of mass, it's called. And I find this in one of the Unity built-in blocks. And we need to provide the rigid body. That's the car. And we want to set that. So I look in the, the Brain Builder built-ins for set property to value. You can set any, any Unity property using this. So I'll drop that on the property and if I hover my mouse over it, you'll see in the status bar down here that it needs a vector 3. So it needs a vector which is available here in, in the math folder. And I'll set that to 0. Actually, I want to lower it a bit. So minus 0 0.2. That's about right. You can still flip the car over, but it's harder. <laughs> so there you have it. A fully functional racing type game um, in just a few minutes using Brain Builder and Unity 3D.